I'm going to show y'all how I shop using grocery ads. I'm currently in a location that is near a, a small town and they do have a supermarket there. Yes, their prices are more expensive than, say, your Walmart, but it would take me, it's about a 45 minute drive to the nearest Walmart. So, the gas back and forth, it's more beneficial to me on most things to, to purchase at the local grocery store. And plus, I want to support them. Every week, or most every week, I make a menu plan and I try to stick with it. But I build my menu plan based on the grocery ad. So, I just write it down real, real rough and I'll just show you one real fast. This was tacos and then leftovers tacos, uh, Chinese meal, um, chicken alfredo, or fried rice, which I had fried rice. Um, hot links or some type of sausage and, and beans. Um, and then leftovers with that so I build my but this was all built from a grocery ad and what I purchased so I'm going to show you what I do I don't go to the grocery store and pick up a grocery ad I get the grocery ad online for that week and then I scan through there write down on the list what I want to go look at or purchase and and that and that's how I make my meal plan so, let me show you an example. This is uh, Smokey's Grocery Store in Capitan, New Mexico. And get on the internet, get their ad, and then this is where I start building. I buy based on ads. So, right off the top, it says a whole fryer, 59 cents um, a pound for the chicken. Great price. I wrote it down I did not buy one um, because I looked at them and my freezer is already full so <laughs> I can't fit anything else so I scroll down um, and I just start looking at uh, the ads and what I want to what I want to I need some more cantaloupe $1.49 each um, that's probably a little steep, but they didn't have any anyway. They had three, and they didn't look good, so I didn't buy that. Two 10-pound bags for $5 of potatoes. I bought one bag. So this is what I do is I just go scroll down. You know, I'm kind of scanning over here. Um, the three vegetables for a dollar, yes. Tuna, 69 cents, yes. Uh, saltines 98 cents yes so that's kind of how I do it um, here's one this is honeysuckle ground turkey two for four yes that's on my list uh, look through here jalapenos 79 cents a pound yes limes yes So this is what I purchased this week. Potatoes were two 10-pound bags for $5. I only bought one. Uh, mixed veggies. I use this mixed veggies or veg all is the other name for it. But this is a cheaper brand. And I use this to make fried rice or chicken fried rice, beef fried rice, whatever. But just... Make some rice with some soy sauce or amino acids. Throw a can of this in there. Got fried rice. Really cheap, cheap meal. Tuna, uh, 69 cents a can. That's one meal for two. Saltines, a box of saltines for 98 cents. Ground turkey. This is the frozen honeysuckle ground turkey. Uh, two for four dollars. That's a good deal. And 
grapefruit was 79 cents a pound, four limes for a dollar, uh, jalapenos were 79 cents a pound, taco shells, no, no uh, non-GMO taco shells. Don't forget the price of that. I think it was one fifteen or something like that. And Asian entree. This is a frozen meal. Never heard of this brand, but I've tried it and it's really good. It's a sweet chili chicken, and it was three ninety nine. It's regularly six ninety nine. So normally I don't buy a a prepackaged meal. I usually make all my meals, most of them. But sometimes you need something fast, and this is really good. So it's fast to, um, but I wouldn't buy it at regular price. So three ninety nine. This is going to be two two days for two people because it has leftovers. So that's going to be four meals. Um, I'm going to use the turkey meat for tacos. And I use make my own taco seasoning. And so then I can have uh, spaghetti or have spaghetti sauce. So I can make spaghetti out of this one. So I can get quite a bit of meals. And I've done this for years. I make my meals around the grocery ads. You save a lot of money that way. Like I said, if you were just to go buy this. It would be almost seven dollars, and you know, and these are these are close to probably eighty cents or something normally. But do remember that I am shopping at a local, very small, small, small grocery store. Before you go to the store next time, pull up the ads from the grocery store and look and start building your meals around the ads. You'll save lots of money in doing that. Let me know in the comments below if you shop by the ads or do you create your grocery list on just things that you need. I've been doing this for years and I still do it living full time on the road. I look for the grocery store and then I see if they have ads available. Hey, if you're liking these daily videos, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And hit the bell if you want to get a notification when I release a new video. See y'all tomorrow. Tuna. Cut. The subscribe button if you hadn't already subscribed. Hey, if you're liking these videos. Billy. Hey, if you're liking these daily vi videos, why can I not say this?